Okay, hello everyone. Hello everyone. Welcome to the live stream. Uh, my glasses look particularly weird on this live stream, but anyway, uh, not really a joking matter is Cardinal Wilton Gregory of Washington, D.C. He has restricted the Latin Mass in D.C. as many expected. And so the pillar, uh, they were able to obtain a copy of this crackdown. And thank you for joining me, everyone, on the live stream. So uh, I'm going to just go through this a little bit. The, um, per the pillar, uh, who was able to obtain this information, the plan will restrict use of the pre-conciliar liturgy texts at Sunday Mass to three locations in the archdiocese. I think they had a few more, but it's restricted to three. I'm not sure the number, but uh, it, se it seemed like they had several. And it's going to call for pastoral outreach towards Catholics with an attachment to the older form of the liturgy. So... Okay, do you need do you, do you need pastoral outreach? <laughs> oh boy, this is pathetic. Um, this is it gets worse. Now, I guess the good thing is everyone, not everyone, there were reports that every single instance of the Latin Mass would be canceled in D.C. and so he kept some open. So I guess that's some consolation for people. But clerics requesting permission must explicitly affirm in writing the validity and legitimacy of a liturgical reform dictated by the Second Vatican Council and the Magisterium of the Supreme Pontiffs and demonstrate an appreciation of the value of con celebration, particularly at the Chrism Mass. Now, I guess one problem in D.C. is that the, um, the Institute and the FSSP are not there. So that's problematic, and it's really only diocesans, and then there is one SSPX chapel. It's, it's kind of in the corner. Uh, it, it's not very central in the city of D.C., so unfortunately there's not a lot of options. Now anyway, let's keep going here. Request for permission uh, must also note the frequency with which a cleric intends to offer or assist at Mass using the preconciliar texts and note the location at which Masses will be offered. While Mass may be offered in those locations, the policy explains that weddings or baptisms in the extraordinary form will not happen. So they're banned. They've banned you from the sacraments, the uh, old rite sacraments. So basically, Cardinal Gregory is exempting himself from the full expression of the Roman Rite, uh, the sole expression of the Roman Rite, if you ask the SSPX. And as a result, the SSPX are going to be the only ones to offer you um, weddings or baptisms in the Old Rite. Now, uh, and they will be the only ones to offer the baptism with the exorcisms besides the Byzantines. So I can see some people going Byzantine. Uh, you're not going to get your reverend of this order, though. And also, uh, the decree also explains that all liturgies on Christmas, Easter Sunday, Pentecost Sunday, or during the Sacred Triduum are to be are to use exclusively liturgical books promulgated by Saint Paul the Sixth and Saint John Paul the Second, either in the vernacular or in Latin. So um, I don't know if there were weekday masses in Latin going on at DC. I'm not familiar with the area, and I'm certainly glad I don't live in that region right now. Um, based on this information, I, I don't know how many Triduum Latin Masses were being said, but certainly Easter Sunday and Pentecost Sunday, if they permit Latin Masses on Sundays, that's particularly a demonic attack on the Mass. Um, you know, I, I've heard that the three holiest days of the year are Christmas, Easter, and Pentecost. And by banning the Latin Mass on all of those, it shows your um, it, it shows the bishop's true beliefs, and uh, certainly not Catholic. 
okay, so it says, additionally, those devoted to the Mass celebrated according to the Roman Missal of 1962 can celebrate the Reformed Mass using the approved rubrics, which include reverent movement and gestures, Gregorian chant Latin, incense, and extended periods of silence. Not really in the new Mass. Not really. Uh, however, Mass is celebrated according to recent texts, either in the vernacular or in Latin. will follow the prescribed rubric for verses populum unless permission is granted otherwise by the Archbishop of Washington. So basically they're banning your reverent Novus Ordo as well. So you have a few options here. Uh, um, for Washington, the Washington Catholics have a few options. They have the SSPX, which is not convenient for very many of them because it's kind of off in one corner of the city. Not really even the city. It's kind of like the outskirts. Uh, or they, they can find an Eastern Rite Mass. Um, that's pretty much it. I'm really sorry to see that. So the, the Latin Mass or the uh, Reverend Novus Ordos are banned. So you can either go to your Jesuit Mass. You know, um, in Washington, D.C., they have that Jesuit parish that gives Biden communion. There you go. That's permitted. But uh, you can't get married in the old right. Sorry. And um, it seemed as though, from the quotes in the Pillar article, Archbishop Gregory talked about how there were people that uh, asked for the Latin Mass at the Synod, and he said, oh, I'm certainly accommodating their requests. And he was definitely patting himself on the back. And it's just pathetic. Because are you Catholic or not? Do you want to stand for the Mass or not? And I know that Pope Francis, you know, he takes he, he takes orders from Pope Francis. I know that. Um, then he speculate that, he, well, he's from the Bernadine Network, which was um, definitely a rainbow network. And he was appointed to Washington. Then he speculate. Moral and to sweep everything under the rug, and he did a really good job of that. As a result, he was named Cardinal, and uh, he's going to just continue to do what he was appointed to do, and that's um, diminish, de emphasize the efforts of the Catholic faith, um, try to ban the Catholic Mass, and it's, it's absolutely pathetic. How many ordinations were in the Washington? I think I talked about this at some point, so if you'll stick with me here. Uh, and, you know, I was initially, like, pretty angry about this. But I, I don't know. I mean, with so many, so much going on, I don't know. I'm researching the, the number of ordinations in the Archdiocese of Washington. Okay, and I know that it, uh, the, in the Archdiocese of Chicago, they had, I think it was two ordinations, and one was to uh, St. John Cantus. So Chicago, super just doing a good job. Uh, let's see here. June 18th. They did ordain several. Wow, 10. Um, how many of these guys are, uh, oh, how many of these guys are in religious orders? Because that's, that's pretty interesting. I don't know. Okay. Anyway, um, I, I don't know. Any, uh, if you have any thoughts, let's see here. Okay, I can't actually. So I'm I'm reading the live chat. I can't. I'm not actually using Streamyard, so I can't post the comments on the screen. Thanks for joining me, everyone. Thanks for the comments in the live chat. Um, <laughs> I'm not going to read any of the comments. All right, good thing. Okay, well that's all I have to say about that. Um, I guess they did have ten ordinations, and. I don't know. To me, I just, I, I don't see who would want to say the Novus Ordo. That's, that's just me.
altar girls, communion in the hand. I don't know. But more power to them, I guess. All right. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, check out the article. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. We are the laity, and we will not be silent.